Um, there was a request for knowing how to do hearts in this game. So I'm going to show you how to do hearts. I'll also show you how to do the tickets and coins. And I had good timing because I've been working on a new script to call it my toolbox. Um, this is a plugin based script. So basically, uh, you, you can add your own plugins to this. It's potential is kind of unlimited. It comes with all these in it already. Um, you don't have to have a dump for this game, but I'm going to show you how to work with the dump for it first, just because um, this one can actually handle dumps from IL2CPP dumper or from uh, Inspector. Uh, you can also uh, export, if you choose the top option in IL2CPP Inspector, you can export, the, I think it says C types, that will export a types.cs file, and you can actually import that with this as well. I'm not 100% sure I have that one down perfect. It might be missing a few things, and you guys can let me know if it is. You know, if you, uh, if you do import a types.cs file, but either uh, select a dump.cs or types.cs file and then just wait. It'll take a little bit of time. Uh, bigger the dump, the more time it's going to take to process. Um, when you run this later on, it's going to actually load uh, the data that it's processing right now uh, from a JSON file I save it to and it goes substantially quicker. To load it. All right, so we're gonna press search. We're gonna select int. Okay. Here's what we're gonna search for: git all lowercase underscore uppercase d underscore. All right, so. I think, you know, most of the values you're going to want to edit for this game are going to be in this list right here. Um, funny thing is, the class that we're going to edit isn't showing up here, but that doesn't matter. So, what we're going to look for first, uh, we'll do coins. Here you see, oopsie. <laughs> Get underscore D underscore coin. Doesn't matter which one. You'll see a couple in this list probably. Select any one of them. Just select one. Press the floating SX button. Now it's going to load uh, my edit by name plugin. It's uh, my edit by name script turned into a plugin to use with this. Uh, first time you run this uh, on any version of the game, you know, when it updates, it's going to do this again. But the first time, it's going to uh, configure itself. It's going to gather some data uh, for the script. It's going to get the method types or, uh, yeah, method types for this. So it takes a little bit longer on the first run, but each run after this is substantially quicker again, just like when you load a dump file. <clears throat> Almost done. All right. So as it says, plugins loaded. Uh, if, if you launch it directly, meaning uh, if I we didn't have to load that dump and we didn't have to search for that. If we know the name, the exact name, we could have just went directly to this and loaded uh, loaded this plugin. Press OK. It was launched. From my ser the search results, so it's automat automatically has our uh, our method name there. So just press OK. It's gonna have a bunch of different results, di different classes that use this method name. The one we want is up here at the top, DB. 
Uh, as far as I can gather, that's just uh, for database. That's basically your player's database of information, like how many of things you have, for example. We're going to select int for the type of edit. And I'm just going to say set it to 5,000. Uh, it's going to ask for the name for the edit. I just normally leave it as the method name. Uh, that won't be used in the scripts menu, you'll see here shortly. So it says the value's been set, test to verify it's working, and then press the floating button. So, still says 50 up there, but that's just because we haven't uh, done anything to make that update. So let's buy one whatever, purchase, as you can see, and now I have 5,000 coins. So we're going to go back here. Save edit. I got that edit right there now. I'm going to press exit script. And then the floating button again. Because I want to go back to the search results. We got method search results here. Press it again. Try to fix that little bug. Alright. Now we're going to look for hearts. Or actually, here's uh, here's another one we want to do. Get the ticket. As you can see, we didn't have to wait for it to load this time. It immediately opened the prompt. And again, we see class name DB. And... Okay. Let's see. Is that in here? Yes. So we want to make it update the number of tickets. I'll claim this uh, reward. Five thousand tickets. Let me go back here again. Actually. <clears throat> Save the edit. And we're going to exit again. Alright. Not sure what's up with that little bug. I have to press the button twice. Uh, I think it's just because I redirected there from the other script improper or the plugin improperly, but no biggie. Anyway. Now you're looking for hearts. There it is. Again, db and so all your recipes. There we go, five thousand, and uh, and this will persist. The oops. Uh, when you restart the game, you'll still have these, and uh, now I will show you how to turn this into a script. Save edit. We're going to exit. Press the floating button. Script creator. Create a script function. Select one of them, coins. Asks for a name. This is what you're going to see in your scripts menu. A thousand coins. Create script function. Ticket. Five thousand tickets. Heart. Five thousand hearts. Set your title for your script here. 
And I mean, if you want, you can adjust menu items here. Uh, move up. Move up. And then you can change the name of the uh, menu item if you decide you want to name it something else. Uh, we're going to set the title. Export script. So there you go. It says script and uh, exported and gives you the location of the file. I am going to exit this game. Exported. Put it in another directory. Game Guardian's got a limit on the length of the file name and path. So you will have to move a file into a lower directory to run it first for some games in particular. Might not have needed to for this one, just in case. There's the script we just exported. It takes a second for it to configure itself. As you can see, all the currency is still there. All right, there we go. So, and then uh, coins. So there you go, five thousand coins again. Five thousand hearts again. All right, and again, this this is a. Uh, I encourage people to make plugins for this script, but if you're going to post them to the Game Guardian site, I also encourage you to make it so your script can also run as a standalone script because I don't think they're cool with posting like plugins for the for my script as as a script. I need to be run able to run as a script itself. So keep that in mind if you plan on posting them to the Game Guardian site. Um, if, it, if you have something that isn't a standalone script and you want to see it included, you can always contact me about including it in, uh, in the download itself in the installer here. But anyways, that's my new script, and that is how you do tickets, hearts, and coins in Fairy Bakery. Have a good one, everybody.